Welcome to Lolita's VL. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Lolita here on Lolita's VL. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for staying into this space. And if you're just subscribing, just seeing this face for the first time, you're welcome. I promise that you're not going to regret it. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining this space. I video. So, um, so yesterday was our two years wedding anniversary. Okay, 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 okay. Backstory, right? We recently got married some hours ago. <laughs> By the time you convert two years to hours, that's it. I will not do the math. I'll leave you to do that. So we got married some, let's say, some few hours ago. <laughs> and if you missed that, go to go some fifteen videos down you know my channel and you'll find our wedding vlog right there and you know watch and enjoy so yeah we're celebrating two years in this beautiful institution two years of um two years of enduring <laughs> one another two years of being in the same space two years of everything you can think of right and see you but you are seeing me now in flesh and blood for those that watch this on channel, you'll have been hearing the voice, right? His voice is what introduces my montage. When you hear that, welcome to Lolita's view. This is the beautiful human <laughs> that did that voiceover, right? So, guys, join me as I welcome, as we herald the presence and the coming <laughs> of OJ Skills on the channel. Applause. Applause. You're welcome. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> so well it's been it's been long coming, right? Like having to film a video with him. It's not it's not like he doesn't show my vlogs definitely. If you watch my videos, you see him breezing and out, um, show his face here and there. But like to have him sit down and create content with us here on this channel it hasn't really happened it hasn't it hasn't happened actually not really it hasn't even happened yeah, this is the first time anyway do you you heard the voice have you? <laughs> ah so <laughs> our baby <laughs> <laughs> i was with that we're happy to have you here yeah, mm. uh, I've, I've, oh, I've, I've always wanted to be here she has been the one keeping me away so She's the one to blame. But it feels good to be here eventually. eventually. It's not me. I don't do such. It's not me. Well, anyway, um, so a few days before our anniversary, uh, when we started, you know, planning some anniversary activities, um OJ came up with the idea of, you know, putting out quest uh, putting out um anonymous link, you know, or a call for questions from family friends, loved ones. We just basically decided to keep it strictly contact list, our uh, contact list, our uh, WhatsApp. People could access on access us on WhatsApp and view our WhatsApp status. So we put out a link and told people to ask us questions anonymously. So we don't know who and who asks what, but you know, ask us what you want to know based on what the two years has been like for us. Right? And yeah, people came through. <laughs> we got some questions, and trust me, I say the questions hit hard. Mm. <laughs> Feels like we're sitting down to write an examination, right? But the questions have come in. We've gone through them. We've not um, we've not discussed the answers to these questions. There are no premeditated answers. We just decided to film our response. Because regardless of the fact that yes, there are people people who ask this question are people that we should, we know, right? We don't know exactly what they ask individually, but we know these people. Our community on here, our community online would also benefit from the answers to these questions, right? So disclaimer: what we are answering is what is happening to us. We not tell you that it is like to happen in your own that's if you're not married or are it supposed to be happening in your own if it's not happening in your own marriage please we're not we're not certified marriage counselors so anything you hear from us yeah, here yeah, even marriage counselors. counselors so anything you hear from us here is just us being us yeah basically so um how are we going to be doing i think we're going to be answering individually right 
yeah would answer would answer the questions as how it pertains to, to us each, yeah, to each as us, individuals yeah. so now there's a juicy part of this video right watch till the end don't skip any parts we've got bloopers <laughs> at the end of this video i can assure you that bloopers before we got to this position of sitting out to make this video my dear it took a lot <laughs> It took a lot. You find out that you find out about that if you stick to it. and don't even run to the end. You are watching if you skip, <laughs> you. if you drag, if you drag that red line on YouTube to the end. If I catch you, anyway, guys, let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first question, <clears throat> not in order of there's no order of arrangement, but the first question we would like to answer is answer is. How was dating for you both and how did you handle inter-tribal marriage? So quick one before we answer that, just in case you're seeing us for the first time or my channel for the first time, we are an inter-tribal couple. Inter-tribal couple. <laughs> eh, is that not a thing? <laughs> so, it's supposed to be a thing in this part because it sounds like world, a thing. <laughs> if it's not a thing before, we have created it, collect it like that. We are a tribal couple. When we say the tribal, we mean two different tribes. First of all, we are Nigerians. That's, let's establish that. We are Nigerians, but from different tribes in Nigeria. I'm an Igbo girl. He's a Yoruba angel. Yeah. Do you miss what I'm saying that now? That's Yoruba demon. Yoruba angel. Uh, Whatever she says, it's final. <laughs> anyway, so so yeah, so um having established that, having letting you know that we are the tribal um Co couple and in this part of the world that's if you're watching outside channel of Nigeria, right, it's kind of a big deal. It's kind of a big deal. It has it has its peculiarities, right? People and the general public, the general populace want to understand how intertribal couples are making it work for them because um we've had a lot of tribal issues in the past in different aspects now i'm not talking about just marriage even in um relating with people and cohabiting with people maybe in a compound or in a house you know just even at work you know work relationships it's just a lot even in friendships you know people have had issues with other people because certain person is not from their tribe so it's really a big deal sort of and the way you now talk about having to be married to each other man some people want to know what's up right so hence this question so let's start it's, it's two questions in one let's let's divide it let's start with the first one so how was dating for you oj okay uh yeah thanks for answering the Thank questions <laughs> So dating, dating was for for me. Dating was a wonderful time um, because right from the onset, I had a vision of where we were going as two individuals. So there was there was a goal, there was an end game right from the onset. So for for me, dating was a time. Dating period was a time to discover the person. I was going to be with, learn about the person, unlearn some things that I had, you know, brought on to that point, um, relearn some things that I, I possibly had forgotten or stuff like that. So for me, the dating period was a, a school on its own. So it was, it was a wonderful time, made fantastic discoveries things that helped us prepare for this phase we are in that's that's how that's how it was for me <laughs> <laughs> why does it feel like i've been schooled <laughs> really because you just you lots of english just describe it oh sorry well for me dating the dating period was um it was just a learning process i think that's what i can tag my my experience with him as it was a learning process it was there was something new every day it was not it was not like um i was seeing the same thing every day so it was a learning process 
I looked forward to it, to every day with him. Um, either talking to him or seeing him, right? Regardless, communicating with him it was a learning process. It was a time when um, I had to understand him as a human being, not just seeing him as boyfriend. Well, that was his title then, you know, when you're dating someone. This is your boyfriend, this is your girlfriend. So you're almost my girlfriend. I'm always your girlfriend. Okay. Are you whining me? <laughs> I'd say you're, you're my baby girl for life. Uh, anyway, the yeah. Girlfriend sounds um, childish. <laughs> not, they're not old though, I bet you. <laughs> so it was, it was, it was a learning process. It was interesting. It was interesting because looking back now, thinking about it, we can laugh about it now. It was not easy, but now we can laugh about it. But um, one good thing I, I think I admire about our dating babe was that we were intentional about it so we're not just dating because it was something that was in vogue or yeah, it was something that yeah. was happening in our generation or amongst our friends or amongst our circle it was something that we were intentional about like we knew that it was needed if we wanted to end up being married it was necessary so we handled it as a necessity we didn't just allow the days to just roll Rule by, by like that so i and think then, that was and it then eventually to creep on you mm -hmm. all of a sudden i think that was it so the next part of the question still one question the second part says how did you handle intertribal marriage so i think i think you should go first this i time. should go first this time <laughs> so um let me first start by saying that um when we met and we okay, we were friends for some time before we eventually started dating, right? So when we started dating, I didn't think of the fact that we were from different tribes. It was funny, yeah. I did it didn't dawn on me. It had not dawned on me <laughs> that we were from different tribes because yeah, the, the, the boy was too fresh to Hey. Oh, so you see, so you see why <laughs> you see why it takes a lot to have him on this channel. No, no. Ah, when you see a fine boy, the, 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 the last thing you would think of is his tribe. Stop, no, let's be serious. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Focus. Yeah, I'm sorry. A yeah, fine boy shot. Yeah. Yeah, established yeah, now. Should I just es established? Hey, yeah, established now. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I was broke. No, please. Okay. So, <laughs> don't interrupt me again. I promise not to. So, well, um, well, that, that was the honest truth. It had not done on me. And um, because I was seeing him as a human being and we we're in the same country. Godless, we are Nigerians. We grew up in Lagos. We are, we are we spending our life in Lagos. I'm we both like, speak English. <laughs> we both speak English. I could understand what he was saying. He was speaking English. So, I, it had not done on me, right? And then um, another thing, I uh, you know how how I would say we eventually were able to handle it in trouble marriages when we now got to the stage of wanting to get married, and we met our family members. Right, it did not also done on them at first. Like my mom in love, his mom, you know, welcomed me with open arms. I'm even going to if I even skipped his siblings. Right, my brother in love, my sister in love. The love was dead, like the friendship was natural. It just it just was flowing, like you know, there were siblings that I never had. So everybody had formed a bond already. We had loved ourselves, we were cool with ourselves, the laughter was there, we had already started creating memories. So it's like we had even gone far. And then we're like, okay. So when we want to do this now officially, okay. I'm Ibu and you're Yoruba. So it's a culture thing right how does how do our cultures come to play and i'm very honest with you at the end of the day we left it to the adults because we had we had let them know that and, it, and regardless of the culture guys we are getting hitched i don't know what you are saying i think we, we stood that we are start we said it once we didn't even need to repeat ourselves like they didn't need to ask or start there was no hesitation so my mom Man, she practically speaks you, but she has lived the greater part of her life in Lagos. She's Igbo by yes, by birth and other thing. And then the most important part came for me. The important part, the most important part, that's the part of the fact that your tribe does not determine your personality. 
who you are, what you do, how you act, doesn't doesn't um what's the word that doesn't dictate what you stand for as a human being, yeah. as a man or a woman, and as someone going to build a family. I feel like it only comes to play, okay, yeah, our culture, okay, we knew that to great. All those are add-ons. First of all, your personality as a human being, like, as you are standing like that, as God created you, as human anatomy is concerned, as a male, as a female, what do you stand for? Check it, your tribe does not, I feel like the tribe does, doesn't, some people say, uh, even we'll be representing we were, but I don't see it. You're first a human being before, before you, are, you are now what before you, you are, are ethnic. before you are ethnic, right? So I think that helped to handle our marriage. But I, it won't, that word handle is able to talk because there's even nothing to handle. It helped us to ease into it, basically. We just eased into it. So I think the handle is too tough a word to be used for. But the person asked how we handled it well. Yeah, I think I think the person asked um, or, or used the the word handle because of the general perception of into tribal marriages. marriages you understand the general perception is that um there, there there will there would be a certain level of resistance mm-hmm. so that brings me to say that i i am very thankful that our parents the people who were involved in the decision making process were not keen on the tribal differences they were not keen on the tribal at all um, um differences mm-hmm. they were not they were not bothered at all they were not bothered so thankfully we didn't have to handle anything anything um, remember so our fear it. when they said when my um father said we had to travel to the east to pay dowry perform all the bright bright pay, bright price payments rights and all that and so they told me first obviously it's my father right he told me first before my in-laws heard about it and when he told me i was like hey you want to carry your back people all the way to the east <laughs> now i know it's being done right i i hear and read of people's experiences every now and then but you know when it's your own when it's happening yeah, to you it dawns on you it dawns on you it hits you differently you don't you don't see to understand you never ask yourself how do people do it how did they do it so i i obviously didn't think there was any, going to be any resistance right but i was looking at it like it's it's really a lot these are people that have never been to the east before to the eastern part of nigeria before and what is taking them there is this girl <laughs> oh yeah now let's go dear you know you know the, the popular saying that where there's a will there's a way okay yeah um in this in this context where there was love genuine love yes it was it was there was nothing too much to do there was no length too far to go to go like yeah. it was it was, I was okay it was not shocking but it was heartwarming when I, I know I was when I called um, mommy to say, I called his mom and I was like, ah, I just heard from my father and his people and they're saying you must travel to the, to, to the east. And the first thing she said was, Koburu, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> I said, I said, Mother for Daddy, ah, Mother for Daddy. And she, I, I can't really speak this part well in Yoruba, right? But she said, in Yoruba, she said, Nkoti. Somewhere of faith, yeah. <laughs> excuse me. I think she said something like that. Like, what her son wants is what will be done. And when I heard that response, that was it for me. And before I said Jack Robinson, you know, arrangements were already being made. What do we do? How do we get there? Do are we flying? Are we and that was it? And that was it, basically. Yeah, that was it. And here we are, two years, uh, <laughs> <laughs> two years out of infinity. Well, so we have a second question here. Okay, for the second question, let's check if this is still recording. Yeah, let's check. Hmm. All right, 21 minutes. Ah, it's been faster. 21 minutes. Yes. It's going to be one hour long video. You're learning <laughs> too much. Too much. Okay. So, second question How do you make it work? I admire you both a lot. 
wherever you are i hope you're really watching this video thank, thank you, you. <laughs> thank you very much for admiring us <laughs> ah i really admire you two years in marriage <laughs> oh shit yeah well you yeah, have well, like you said um esther was broke initially but um i don't admire you because we are <laughs> What's the two and your five, 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 five? They're admiring us, us. This, 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 yeah, this, I understand. This. I admire yes. you both a lot. Yes, but we, we, actually, I would have loved that we ask this person. What's the what's person? The person they're that they're 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 us. And answer the question. How do you both make it work? We ask. How do you make it work? Well, um, how we make it work for me is we we are not just the couple. We are not just um, cohabitants. We are not flatmates. We are friends. I think that's that's my gene. We are friends. Um, that's how we make it work. I don't know if I have a difference or well, um, something else to add to that. We live a day at a time. <laughs> See, we do this one day at a time. In fact, an hour at a time before you know it. A moment at a time. As in, before you know it, you are two, three, four, five. It's a bit of a 30th, 20th anniversary. It's a day at a time. You, you cannot, you can't, <laughs> you can't count the days you get tired. That's one. Then two, in the house, we are G's. When we step out, we will wear our husband and wife cap. Because if you wear that husband and wife cap, Everywhere you are, including the house. I'm asking you, you go tired for you, go tired. So I think how we make it work, right? We just we don't we don't take it. We don't too overthink deep. it. We don't think it's too yeah. deep. It's not that deep. <laughs> if it's that deep, ah! so I think that's what that's what helps us. To, yeah. That that does not mean we are nonchalant about it. Please don't get us wrong. We're not saying just be nonchalant about it or. Does be like a basical just, about just leave it to fate or something. Yes, like that. no, no, we're not like a basic about our marriage. We are we still have the intentional part playing, right? But at the same time, we also if they come on there three sixty five days in the year to mark a year anniversary, right? Don't make the three sixty five days <laughs> like you are <laughs> writing an exam, right? So I think that's just what we are saying. So next question. Hmm. What was your first impression <laughs> of each other? Just in, in a quick one, what was the first impression of me? So we, we met, when we met physically, the first yeah, time we met physically yeah, was, was on a staircase. Uh -huh. I need to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we, had, we had a discussion about work. And my first impression was that, oh my days, what a smart lady. That was my first impression. Okay. What a smart lady. Uh, and then, you know, everything else followed. And oh, that's nice. Here we are. That was my first impression. Okay, my first impression was <coughs> so I'd always been the young girl. I think my, my friends would relate that I would always say, I want a young black fine boy for myself. Like, that was always me. So, my first impression was like, damn, he's looking good. Even though it was around haircut too. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I think I was actually on this kind of haircut back then. At the time, it's even It was not even better at all. <laughs> and then, um, yes, like I said, we had a work discussion. And it was very short. But in that short time, I, I could pick out the intelligence, the smartness, and then the voice. Come on. And then we also <laughs> add that I knew he was a saxophonist and I was amazed at the talent and the skill he had all j skills baby <laughs> <laughs> yes so he was a broadcaster he was still a student then he was a saxophonist and i was really intrigued i was like come on this is this is something good so yeah that was it <laughs> the next question says how do you align all you do yeah, I think. Now, I this, think person, answered... this person did not direct the question at a particular person. How do you align or you do? Like, is it how do we align? I think I think it's very similar to how do you make, make it, it work. work. So, okay. yeah, I think we've answered the question already. Um, well, well, all you do means maybe work, work family. How do you align all you do? Okay, okay. How do you align? Yeah, all you, do? you don't do one particular thing for work. You have 
other hustles, you have other... Yeah, but everything is still work and family. Well, true. For me, work, family and school for now. Yeah. We're aligning. Okay. <laughs> when reality hits you, bad, bad, bo, 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 bo. <laughs> You realign and realign. You re- now, I actually think that question was actually meant for you. Um, how do you balance being a wife with um, being a worker and then being a student at the same time? So how do you align, how do you balance all of these um, multiple roles? At the beginning, I think I've talked about it on my channel here. I think if I'll get the video and link the video either in the description yeah, box. I remember, I remember you did the uh, video. That. Yes, I talked about it being an entire sport on its own. It's not easy, definitely. Even people that don't have as many cups as I do, you know, don't even find it easy. Especially because, um, you know, some other people would say they wear more hats after marriage, right? After marriage, and I would maybe go back to school to do one thing or the other. But for me, I had these hats on and I took up marriage and added to it. <laughs> some people are like, girl, what is your problem? Eh, Uche, what is your problem? Well, well, I think how I align it, right? First of all, first of all, Thank you for being very sweet. Thank you for being very supportive. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Yeah. So you can only do that if you have a very wonderful support system. And OJ is the support system that any woman out there should be looking for. I'd not say like people like OJ. <laughs> not OJ. OJ stay here. People like OJ are being supposed to uh wonderful support system that any woman would like to have right um there's that then another thing that has helped me to align is um um purpose right i like to understand and tell myself that each of the hats have their separate purpose and i really need to achieve that each each purpose right i think it has helped me to align very well I need to understand that my marriage is young my husband is a young man he, he in fact love and care right now is cannot be compromised or cannot be reduced in my marriage i need to understand that i am in the process of making my home room was not built in it i didn't come into a home that was already made by another woman so i was conscious of the fact that that part my purpose all the dreams i want i had as in as a wife as a homemaker, I still needed to achieve them, right? And also, I had been working, I started working very early in life, so I also had that purpose of, you know, earning some money, trying to just live comfortably for the time being, and not being a, not being a liability to anybody around me, especially now to my husband, not being a financial liability and saying, okay, because I'm a student, so, every other thing that has to do with me you're taking it over no so that is also its own its own purpose and then the other purpose of being a student right i i even if i when i started i wasn't doing so well right but i had to realign and tell myself that i'm not dumb i'm smart i finished high school with in flying colors with good grades so come on i shouldn't be going down right now because of some some other things so there's the purpose of also graduating with a very good result so purpose just helps me align keeps me going and then support system now helps to patch in and come in when we get tired when we lose alignment when no, you know when the alignment is going like wait 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 you know i'm, I'm tempted to think that you became more serious with school when you met me. Ha. <laughs> what type of parts? <laughs> okay, okay, let's just take that question. Ah, this one, this person knew you, would you? Uh, the person knows you well. Oh yeah. Does Sam still like any ex? Me, I'll shout this, this one. Very specific to Sam. This person didn't even ask the, the do, do you both, do both still like any of your exes? Answer. <laughs> Does Sam still like his ex? Any ex. Any ex. Any ex. It's a yes or no question. So 
To learn through this? No. Moving on. The best that I ask, hope you're happy. <laughs> I hope so. Too. So the next question. So we got a lot of not, okay, not a lot, but we got different versions of this kind of question. When are the babies coming? Is this particular question. And we got another version that said, When are the twins coming? Now that person was really very specific. Sorry, when are the babies coming? OJ, I tell them. When are the babies coming? <laughs> I mean, we like put the babies by myself. Hey, so let's ask Blodgy students, Blodgy. Let's ask. Okay, uh, well, the babies are going to come when we want the babies to come by God's grace. So, in life, in life, <laughs> in life, there are certain priorities, you know, even in marriage, there should be priorities for different people, yeah, for I mean, peculiar to each couple and their wants and their needs, yeah, at any point in at time. Any point in time. You know, so, yeah. the, the, the same way um, for an event, you have item one, item two, up to item mm -hmm. seven, yeah. which is what actually everybody is looking forward to, item seven. In this case, the babies, everybody is looking forward to the babies. Someone actually specifically asked, when are the, when are twins, the twins coming? coming? I, I like that person. <laughs> person is very specific. I'm very ambitious. I'm very ambitious. <laughs> so, um... Don't worry, stay, are, stay glued to this space. Yes, watch this space i will tell you me i will not, i'm not in the whatsapp group that is to keep it there are from a snap in the hospital tell you that they have come no conception bam like this abby babe i say yeah we will tell you i concur i can assure you you will look to find the answer yeah. <laughs> anyways yeah like you said the babies will come when we want when we are god the covenant we've made with god yeah. right when we are god when we want babies to come they go show face. Let me say they. Yes, yeah. they go show face. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for all your questions. We wow. really, really appreciate. We really hope you enjoyed watching this as much as we enjoyed filming it. It was really interesting for me, babe. How was it for you? Yeah, it was. It was nice. I mean, I when we put out the call, I didn't know what to expect, but yeah. Yeah, it was, it was it was pretty good. Yeah, it was nice. <laughs> So thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. Thank you for gracing thank you for us. <laughs> and please, if you have any comments to make, you have some contribution to share an experience, your one, two years, three years, four years in marriage, even if you are our seniors in this institution, in this school, you know, our senior, our seniors, please, you can also drop one or two things. We would like to also hear from you. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed. If you're not watching this video, you're not subscribed. You click that subscribe button and join the family. Please also like this video, share the video to the loved ones. If person is not love, please share it. <laughs> <laughs> and also tap on the post notification bell below so that you get notified each and every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. From my humble self, from our sweet that I will always be here. We say stay glued to this channel. Watch other videos. Yeah. And watch all the upcoming ones. We have we have another video coming for the in the anniversary theme. So look out for that. Two years down, baby. Two years. <laughs> Thank you. I see you in the next one. Sit sideways, sit slanting. And here, sit like you're in your lounge. Yeah. I just, yeah. Uh, and what again? Why are you really excited like this? <laughs> Alright. Now, this is our purpose. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know why you're excited like this. Yeah. I want you to say hi, guys. It's your channel. I don't know. What do you do on your channel? I don't even know. I don't think I have a particular intro for all my videos. You watch my videos, right? Do you watch my videos? Yeah, I do. <laughs> yes, you watch my videos. Yes. Like then. from day one. I know you were there from day one. Like yes, yes. Channel. I've always been watching. So how do I start my videos? I start the video. <laughs> the way you started out when you initially started out.
Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> That's Pascal.